G'day all. How's everyone doing out there? Here, we're still suffering from the rain. The rainy blues are still here. <laughs> Cannot go out in the house. So actually our plan today is, you know, to go to the spa pool. Spa pool in Cardwell. But Daddy said the uh, um, forecast. It's flooding in there? down there. It's yeah. flooding rain down that way, and we're we're on a flood watch still up mm. here. So until we get good weather, we, there's no point going on any adventures and going away from home too much. Yeah, that's really sad. Yeah. January to March, it's a really um, wet season, so mm. that's really um, rainy, rainy season. It's so, it's normal here, but you know it's just annoying because. Um, you wanna you wanna do something outside like adventures and stuff, but you cannot do. You so, can't, unless you wanna get wet or, or risk being flooded in. So oh, what, that's what we can do too. What's the plan, mommy, today? It's been a while, mga loves, that I really haven't touched the kitchen. I mean, touch the kitchen. It means that you know, do some little bits like cooking, right? Daddy had to cook last yeah. So this time, I was thinking last night, maybe we will do the Thai, um, the Thai roti. Mm. So as everyone knows, um, I lived um in Thailand for I think nearly three years. That's where I met Daddy Stones in Thailand, right? No, it wasn't in the bar. <laughs> not in the bar. That's bad no not in the bar that's not good <laughs> but yeah he went there he went to Thailand to meet me and um, he spent like how many weeks a month no a not month. a month I don't know. I can't we, we can't remember but around that time he went and stayed there and tour the place with me yeah so i'm going to show you what's a thai roti it's um dessert and you can it's really famous on the sidewalk they they, they cook it on the sidewalk you can buy them um street food we say street food is Mommy's very good at cooking yeah. thai food. so we will show you manga loves how but you need this um it, it's actually a very long preparation when you make this one. If you want a really sweet dessert, this is the sweetest, I reckon. But Daddy loves it, but I'm not really sure with the kids. Well, but I think they did they taste it last easy. time. Yeah, so I will show you. It's very, very easy. Very easy to make, but it's just uh, soaking, soaking in the oil takes time you can actually spend sometimes overnight but this time we will just soak it for three hours so that when the kids are back to uh, are back from school we can cook it then i'm going to show you how to make a thai roti so we just really need um two cups of flour um one four teaspoon of salt um three fourth cup of cold water and one tablespoon of melted butter and lots and lots and lots of cooking oil around maybe three cups of cooking oil now we're not going to use the cooking oil in cooking it we're just going to use the cooking oil to soak the um the dough okay let's start okay first we need two cups of flour so all-purpose flour, just two cups. I think that um, rot roti is usually um, it's actually um, Indian food, but Thailand has their own version. So that's two cups of flour. Now we just have to put one egg, and then you need um, one four teaspoon of salt. I love just estimating. And then three four cup of a cold water. So this is a cold water, three four cup. Just do like that. melted butter ok 
Okay, that's it. And then we're just going to mix it well and then knead it. Knead till it's a smooth. Um, sprinkle sprinkle um, flour not too much just a little bit so as you can see it's really sticky mga loves so we just have to um, slowly be and bit by bit to put more um, what's this flour We can transfer it to this platform. This one it's been cleaned before. So put more flour. It's very sticky. Look at my hand. pieces it doesn't matter if it is a uniform in size or in grams or whatever it's actually fine because we're not selling this one <laughs> it's not a business so if it is just um but if you're very particular on the sizes you want it like you want it like a uniform then you can do it like you can um, use the Wayne scale but for me it's all right, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to cut it into um, eight pieces. We're just going to cut it in half. One, two, four. So that's the good thing if you're a mom and you just cook for your family. You don't need to be perfectly, um, and you don't have to be, um, doing things perfectly and now we've got eight pieces now each of these one we're going to form them into a bowl right okay now oil so you can put as much oil because you can reuse this in frying so don't don't worry if you're you know don't think that you're wasting oil because you can reuse this so now what we're going to do is to submerge each of this dough in so make sure mga lalabs that it's covered so as you can see it's not covered yet you have to make sure that it's a submerge so you have to um, put more you have to cover it cover 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 this one and set this one aside for three hours and we will I will show you how to make it later. It's really nice for dessert, especially when the kids come home. Daddy and I decided to go out for lunch outside. So kids will be home at three. Um, they're taking a bus today. Daddy wants Wara. Happy for ten. No, no. Easy, see? One, two. I won. Happy for ten. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I'm going to go to the bus. I'm going to go to the bus. I'm talking to Mama. It's it's um what we call this a face a shield. So everyone in the Philippines are required to wear them when they 
get out from their house. <gasps> it's open. Happy Fulton. I think that one there, the spicy carriage. <laughs> the carriage. Yeah, that's how you say it, isn't it? Karage. 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 Chicken katsu don. What's a don? Yeah, I'll get the chicken katsu. Premier. Ah, Premier. Premier while we're eating, see? Mm. <laughs> Multitasking. Multitasking. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I've finished. Yum. It yeah. is good. It's beautiful, yeah. It's um, Korean. Daddy got the. What was that? Um, katsu. Chicken katsu. Mm. And I got the bulgogi. We're full. Yeah. And we're going. It's still um I still have to get um banana. Can you get no. Oh they're open actually rusty's but we don't have coins. Yeah but we don't have coins. Okay guys we'll see you at home. We're going back home. Continuing your cooking mummy, what are we doing? So we will use banana and egg as a filling. Egg. There's two eggs in this one. And then we can put it here. So just like that. Okay, and then we need some margarine. We need some condensed milk to drizzle and the sugar after. Okay, so we will set this one aside. We'll just put that one there. And then this is the one that we did this morning. So it's been soaking more than three hours actually. So, so what we do is just flatten this. So what you do is just make it very thin. Thin as you can. Right, you just make it like a bit square. So you can make different fillings. Nutella, one of them. Um, you can um, you can do what's this? Um, bacon, chorizo. Um, yeah, Nutella is kind of popular. What so about Vegemite? Oh. And then you're just going to do like that together. <gasps> then what we do is just going to transfer it. Put this. That's some margarine. If you see that it's a bit transparent, so that's enough. That's what the what. Uh, that's what you want. So it doesn't need to be thick. You don't want it thick. You want it thin. And then very low heat, mga lalas low heat and you want it crispy you want it crispy should i have ice cream on it okay hey, should i have ice cream on that I think so. are you gonna have one b yeah if it tastes good i'll give it he doesn't like this one it doesn't taste good b you know this that this is no good Mm -hmm. Okay, so now before we're going to finish everything anyway, we're just going to try this one now. Oh yeah. Okay, so the preparation. So we'll just have to make sure that it's brown so that it's crispy because that's what we want. It I 
Saha and what you do is drizzle it with condensed milk so that's how you do it eat it if you dare peeps yum yeah I know it will be yum Right, I guess it's like spaghetti. Mm, better. Better. Mommy, there's nothing left. Mommy, there's nothing left for you. Look. The cork is running out of food to eat for itself. Is well, it actually, it's better for me to make more because everyone loves it. You know that? Yeah. I don't want pasta. Last one, Mangala. Not last one. All yours. The rest are yours. There's a problem. While you're cooking, everyone's eating.